Generals, I am Ira Gomez with your 2 o'clock news. Today, we will be discussing the topic of nuclear energy. The first power station to produce electricity by using heat from the splitting of uranium atoms began operating in the 1950s. Today, most people are aware of the important contribution energy makes in cleanly providing a significant portion of the world's electricity. Not so well known are the many other ways a peaceful atom has slipped quietly into our lives, often unannounced, and in most cases, unappreciated. Radioisotopes and radiation have many applications in agriculture, medicine, weaponry, industry, and research. They greatly improve the day-to-day -day quality of our lives. And today we have been given the great honor of witnessing a live congressional hearing on nuclear energy at Chapter High School. And now, to the hearing. We are here at room 12 and 4 Chapter High's Greatest Research Facility. In here lie the greatest minds of nuclear energy, and we have the opportunity to introduce some of them. Nuclear weapons can be launched up from a bomb, artillery show, or missile. It's carried in aircraft, subs, and trucks, and is stored in underground silos. They can travel the border space and anywhere on Earth. It costs a lot of money. Professor Hernandez, Professor Hernandez, Professor Hernandez, while conducting research on nuclear weapons, what did you find most interesting? Something that really interested me was how much nuclear weapons cost that, and that we have so many of them, you know. Like there's like about 120 million each bomb, and we have a lot of them, so that interested me. Thank you. Radiation first of all is the emission of energy as electromagnetic waves or as millions of atomic particles, especially high energy particles that cause radiation. So it can affect the body and the environment. And there's basically types of radiation like alpha, beta, gamma. And that those affect the body, but then there's two other types of radiation which known as natural and artificial radiation. If you're exposed by radiation while being pregnant, what could happen to the baby? Um, usually the baby is protected by the uterus, but if you are like that close to radiation, it could lead to like birth defects, just such as like once you have the baby, like retardation and cancer, genetic mutation. Yeah. <laughs> Reactors, a which is the main fuel source there is uranium 235. A high speed neutron is shot into uranium 235, making it uranium 236. So uranium 236 is a, is a very unstable isotope that becomes excited and then it splits into two different uh, elements krypton and I think it's barium. How long has fusion been used? Fusion has been used since the creation of the sun because the sun has fusion, that's how it works. Any interesting facts about fusion? Well, you see, fusion is hot. Very hot. Um, Xavier, I have a question for you. What color is your shirt? My shirt is red. They injected me with a, I think it was a potassium um, radioactive isotope, and they uh, let it get into, uh, go into my uh, bloodstream, and it uh, trans um, goes into the lymph system and it collects um, in the lymph nodes and so uh, it was basically using to diagnose exactly where the different lymph nodes were. What are the downsides to using nuclear medicine in hospitals? Well, in the hospitals you have to um, be sure that it's contained and anybody who comes in contact with it has radiation badges so that uh, they know the maximum dosage of radiation that they are getting if they have to handle the materials. And um, there's a lot of safety that has to go into it. Um, and then, of course, um, for the patients, um, they are getting uh, radiation, so it has to be very carefully monitored of how much they are being given. Thank you. All right. And now back to Myra. Wowza, that was a lot of information. I hope you caught it all. We have learned from this broadcast that we must continue funding nuclear medicine, nuclear transportation, and fission and fusion. But we also need to start funding nuclear disposal and storage because it will help our future generations. 
but we should not continue funding, and I'm talking to you too, George, not continue funding nuclear weapons because they're bad, not only to your environment, but to your personal self, because why would you want to bomb someone else? That's, that's really messed up. And, you know, nuclear energy is a part of our lives. Without nuclear energy, what is life? Life without nuclear energy doesn't add up.